is that the average age of participation to uh, all these tools uh, is 32 years old. So um, that's a, a start of success. So yeah, that's the question I was about to ask because in cities it's been like ages that there's been uh, uh, councils in uh, local areas, opportunities to discuss with elected people, etc. So you would say that one of the first successes would be to have reduced, lowered the age of participation uh, of participants. Okay. And reaching a big number of people and try uh, to uh, get to a new scale. And uh, the other question, and then we will have uh, maybe a, a few words from, uh, from Armel, is uh, do you feel that uh, the uh, suggested IDs and decisions and uh, uh, things that were crowdsourced on this participatory uh, budgeting platform uh, are any different from decisions that uh, the uh, elected representatives uh, could, have him could have made themselves? Is there, is there anything new in these IDs that have been uh, cr crafted on these platforms? Oh. Sure, I, I mean, everything is new. Uh, the, it's, it's a whole new culture of participation that is totally changing the way uh, the administration is working. Mm -hmm. So not only the ideas, but the process, the fact that the ideas of are collaborative, um, the mm -hmm. way uh, we are going to um, make them real, mm -hmm. um, it's totally new for the city. Okay. Uh, Armel, uh, so as uh, the founder of Démocratie Ouverte and one of the uh, editors and operators of this platform, uh, Parlement et Citoyen, which I believe has worked with the uh, Assemblée Nationale here uh, and other public institutions, um, you, have, you also have an experience of uh, using platforms for the benefit of institutions and trying to open uh, their traditional forms of governance. So what, 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 what can you say about that? Uh, I mean, uh, and the question I have in mind is, uh, did you manage to make something more than just experiments uh, with which uh, like a few people are just happy to play with? Uh, and do you have the feeling that you can blend uh, what your platforms bring in, brings in uh, with, uh, uh, again, the uh, traditional praxis of power in these, uh, in these uh, institutions? Yes, uh, first of all, uh, about uh, Democracy Ouverte, it's a, a group, uh, uh, like a, a little NGO with a lot of project owners. So we have Parlement et Citoyen, this, uh, this platform or this app to co-design laws to, uh, uh, to make uh, intelligent, uh, collective intelligence, uh, uh, to, to make possible that this collective in intelligence benefits to the, uh, the representatives in this uh, law building process. Uh, but there is also a lot of other uh, project owners in Democracy Ouverte, like uh, Vox.org, uh, to, uh, 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 to co to uh, crowdsource uh, programs uh, during elections uh, and make it uh, open data. We have uh, questionnaire vos élus, or uh, it's uh, to uh, to ask questions to uh, representatives, and we have a lot of uh, platforms. So, to the question, is there one platform to save or one app to save democracy? <laughs> yes, I have it. It's my in my pocket, but I, I won't <laughs> share it. No, uh, there is not one app. There is so many apps and so many uh, uh, platforms that uh, today are. Uh, bringing more power to to citizens uh, to uh, uh, share information, but also to build concrete projects uh, to uh, make this uh, possible that this the collective intelligence uh, uh, is uh, able to uh, put more transparency in and participation and collaboration uh, in the law process, but also uh, uh, to to build uh, concrete projects. So. To, to answer the question about uh, Parlement et Citoyen, uh, it for now, we, we launched the, the platform two years ago with six elected representatives from uh, different colors, uh, with, with, uh, sorry, <laughs> from different parties uh, in France, and two laws uh, were built uh, in with this platform, uh, and, uh, and they passed uh, at the National Assembly in France. Uh, so it's uh, the beginning of, of a success, but there is l uh, still uh, so many things to do for this platform to to uh, uh, to make this platform better and better. Uh, and perhaps uh, to to answer the question, I think that there is 
a point that is very important about all this uh, platform and, and collaborative tools uh, is that it permits to citizens to uh, to be more in the action process. So uh, we are perhaps in a, in a moment uh, where citizens uh, were a lot of in politics about to delegate the power to uh, representatives and more and more uh, this platform puts uh, the, the citizen in action uh, di directly. Uh, it's the, the, this concept of peer-to-peer, -peer and uh, I think it's a powerful thing in for these hubs. Mm -hmm. yes. But do you think, again, that uh, you said that there was still a lot of work to do to make the platform more, um, I, I don't know, uh, efficient, I guess, uh, more uh, user-friendly or anything. But do you feel that it's more like working on the platform that's going to change or to make it more acceptable by the institutions with which you've partnered? Or, uh, I mean, do you have any other perspective than being just like an experiment uh, above the uh, traditional processes uh, that have been... Uh, uh, yielded in uh, in the in the in the late 18th century. I mean, uh, yes, I think that it's more about the, uh, the collaborative culture. That uh, this lot of experiments it puts more and more uh, uh, the collaborative culture uh, in cities in the citizen uh, practice practices and also in uh, uh, the elected representatives practices. So. Uh, even if it's uh, only um, uh, experiments, uh, I, I think that some of th these experiments will uh, uh, become the, the norm, uh, will become something uh, that we use uh, every day, uh, but not, uh, not all of the, uh, these experiments. But even if it's some experiments fails, uh, it's bringing this culture of collaboration in... Uh, in uh, uh, our politics in, in our political system. So uh, it's also there is another project that we uh, we are launching in Democracy Ouvert. It's called Territoire Hautement Citoyen. It means uh, uh, high citizen citizenship uh, territories. Uh, and this program is dedicated to to mayors or to uh, local representatives to. Uh, uh, to permit them to uh, uh, rethink their uh, governance uh, locally. And mm -hmm. uh, the, the message about this program is to, to say that uh, uh, the it's very important to, to think the governance, to, to rethink the governance, and to put the citizen in the middle of it. And uh, tools, and uh, uh, it can be uh, uh, digital tools, but also physical tools, uh, are important, but it's not the most important. The most important is uh, the, the spirit and the uh, and this culture of collaboration, and it permits to uh, to rethink uh, the the power link between uh, representatives and citizens. Uh, b before we get back to this with Clara about like this culture and the way that just people are uh, wired into uh, 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 opening up to new forms of governance, I'd like to hear Simona, who um, you have a, a, a very different experience as as I was saying, uh, your experience uh, comes more from uh, either from the streets or from the places. Uh, and you were trying telling me, if I remember well, that you were not expecting much from a like large. Uh, Say institutional, like uh, uh, digitized institutional uh, institutional processes for uh, taking decisions and uh, and and making democracy live. Uh, that you were expecting more from uh, small tools uh, being used to for the uh, mobilization of citizens. So I, I I'd like to hear about your experience here. So wha what I think is that uh, a good society, a society where we are all happy, is a society in which we mix government, individual, and the commons. And so we shouldn't lose uh, perspective on one of these. I, uh, I, mm, internet has changed my life completely. I'm 48. I'm an uh, activist since a very long time. And in 2006, internet entered in my life and really changed my life. So I think uh, internet is very important because internet makes what we say disintermediation. Put on a side the intermediary, this agent that they are between, for example, us and the culture. So we can now between peers share culture, us and 
the organization and the institution. We can have auto-organization when the institution doesn't work. And uh, so this idea that internet permit us to be more adults is very, is very important for me. I come from the experience that us in Spain, not only because of the Indignado movements, but also uh, via the Indignado movement. I come from an organization, it's Xnet. We are now in this right moment via the internet putting on trial over 100 politicians and bankers in Spain. Uh, we are now uh, creating tools for um, uh, journalists, citizen journalists, and we are uh, via the internet and via Citizen League, we are now uh, bringing on trial our government and, and uh, uh, facing the corruption in Spain, which is very big. So I am really positive on the fact that internet is useful as a tool for the citizen organized and to take care all together as individual organized together on our commons good without the institution, but not because the institution we don't need it, because actually now the institution doesn't work. But, okay, now but come. <laughs> I, uh, now that I, uh, I was so positive with the internet, so I would, in this first part, I would answer yes, an app can save democracy. I need now to scare you a lot, so I will, uh, uh, I think this stream are not working, and I'm a bit worried, for example, listening to some of the things that are saying we share with this excess of optimism on the, on the, on the application on the Internet. I, my experience in Spain uh, is, for example, uh, well, okay, let's speak about a very old legend. You remember the dictatorship of the proletariat? Sounds familiar to you. Remember? you this legend that was... In one side, very beautiful, wow, oh, the proletariat will get free and, and also quite scary. This part of the dictatorship was a bit scary. So I think the actual dictator of proletariat, this promise that never happened, uh, and uh, this opium for the people also, is the participation and collaborative astroturfing idea via the institution. I want to make an example. So uh, this promise uh, of in the postmodernity, uh, not anymore in socialism, but in this uh, uh, democracy, soft fascist we live in, uh, is uh, this idea of we will all be participating. So what is now happening from, there is a lot of institutions doing a great work. I know a lot of people inside of the institution doing a great work. Inside of the old and new party doing a great work to really make these participants uh, an efficiency tool of democracy, but most of the time, the new party, like Podemos, or the old party, because now in Spain we have succeeded that all the party, they have open list and they do crazy collaborative uh, programs, they say they do. In fact, they are just faking a participation via I like, I don't like in your telephone, or they are, and so we, we must take, care a lot of this idea that, okay, my government or my new beautiful party I am fan of, uh, I am participating in the pro program of my city or of my Podemos party because I say I like if I want to get uh, out or not the foreigner from the country. I will solve the problem of immigration by saying I like, I don't like. This is a new form of fascism, is, is, is a new form of uh, the institution getting back their control by giving us the opium of using an app so that we are participating to democracy. Participation without responsibility is just a new form of fascism. This is what I think. Okay. <laughs> um, it's going to be hard to bounce off that, but... Um, no, but uh, sincerely, uh, uh, also because just, uh, I, I, of course, I mean, uh, most of the, f the, 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 the room just uh, agrees, and uh, I guess some of the floor, too, uh, is that actually uh, this idea of participation implies great responsibilities. You're absolutely right. And I'd say myself, as a particular practitioner, in trying to develop those kind of uh, platforms, uh, new types of governance, trying to convince institutional clients to dive in, uh, I've uh, very often... Uh, witnessed that um, the the biggest problem with it is not just like selling, you could say, a participative process. It's just making it more si like 
taken more seriously and to weave it uh, into the actual decision processes. So uh, I can only agree, of course. But at the same time, um, I don't know. If, uh, and, uh, I, I mean, uh, I, I just feel that uh, these uh, institutions they need uh, to, just as Armel suggested, do a lot of experiments because there's a lot of uh, convinced people, uh, pretty sincere, uh, trying to actually weave these uh, participatory processes uh, in these institutions. And it's just like a long and hard uh, way just to move things. And um, uh, I, I, I'm just afraid um, uh, your point of view might scare them off, you could say, uh, and just okay. leave participation on the street, actually. No, no. Uh, I think we have to... I, first, I think institutions cannot do any experiment. They are there to govern and they have to know what they do. And see, if they don't know, they should ask to the citizen because the citizen, we know what we are doing. There is a lot of uh, experience that already, for example, in Spain, we know what to do with the housing problem, we know what to do, but not, uh, it's not a complaining, it's building. We have solution for the housing problem. We have a solution for the health problem uh, against austerity. We have solution in Greece also. They have solution. And this institution does, just doesn't ask. They are experimenting with fake participation. So uh, institution is not there to experiment. Uh, it's there to um, open the door for the skills for the civil society to, get, to, get, uh, to become reality. And on the other side, I, don't, I am not a negative person. I'm a very positive person. I think institutions have to have the system of participation always uh, and uh, have to function. But what, what I want to say is that they should, um, that uh, we should put, uh, I don't trust any app uh, on participation which is not wa waving, Emma, she's my official translator, uh, ponderar. Waiting, waiting is not waiting. Participation with uh, responsibility means it's not the same like on health issues to a person that just passing by or to a patient, to a doctor, to uh, a worker in, in someone who we, we have a problem with this. So, if we if there is already some app, for example, Michel Bowens and the people from Frock have um, worked with the uh, tools that have not just the possibility of participation, but also the possibility of giving a more weight to a participation with concrete skill than the participation with no skill, which is just opinion. And it's very different a participation as an opinion or a participation as I put a skill that I have improved in the civil society working for the commons. Okay. Um, I'm sure that Armel and Clemence will have a few words to say and to answer to that. Um, and yeah, I'll just let like you answer and then we'll hear Clara. I yeah, strongly, sure. no, I strongly <laughs> uh, disagree on the fact that uh, institutions don't have to uh, experiment. If, if they don't experiment, I wouldn't be there. Uh, we wouldn't have the participatory budget, we wouldn't try anything, there would only uh, be uh, the same old politics that uh, Axel Tessandier was describing earlier. And I'm glad that we're trying new things, that we're trying to uh, work with Armel and other uh, people like Wisher and the whole community. Okay, on, on more and more uh, Myers, uh, on especially at this uh, local level, uh, already uh, experiment a lot of things and there is a, uh, a permanent dialogue between uh, civil society and, uh, and this uh, local uh, representative. So, uh, and th I think there is, uh, it's, a, it's a good level and, uh, and there is still a lot of leverage uh, possibilities uh, with these uh, local institutions to, uh, to put this experiment it in more uh, uh, usual uh, 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 yes, it's in more uh, usual functioning. <laughs> uh, functioning, yes. Okay. Um, I think it's time to to have uh, Clara in, uh, come in the conversation. And sorry for uh, for for letting we, you wait. But um, uh, I remember from uh, preparing this talk with you, um, uh, you saying that um, you don't trust uh, that much applications to change the processes and uh, just change politics, but you're more interested in changing the people and in spite not just changing the people in changing the people the apps or uh, the whole digital uh, scene uh, could be helpful so could you yeah. let's understand this 
Um, actually, I have been working for six years now um, in, uh, in the public sector, in public institutions, uh, at uh, local level and then at the national level, even uh, in a minister's office. Uh, so I really try to change the, the system from within, from inside, and now I want to try to change it from uh, outside, and that's why I just uh, uh, moved on, uh, starting my own project. And uh, my belief is that yes, the internet, technologies, etc., uh, can definitely help to you know to renew democracy. Um, but actually, technologies, and I think that we will all agree on that, won't save the world and won't save democracy. Only people will. So I think that the first step, the biggest challenge, is to make people understand uh, that they have a, a role to play, to make them understand that if they join forces, they can all have an impact. And not just uh, activists or, or militants, everybody. Um, so I, I think it's, uh, it's the biggest challenge. I don't know, uh, I, I'm a big fan of uh, Game of Thrones. I don't know if, uh, if you watch as well. There is a, a, sent a sentence of uh, Lord Varys that I love. Uh, he says, the power resides where people think, uh, believe uh, it resides. And I think it's exactly uh, that. People have to think, to believe that they have the power. That's the first step. Otherwise, all the apps, all the algorithms, etc., won't have any impact, will be totally uh, useless. So that's the first step. And then if I, I go further, um, I, I think that uh, the internet apps, yes, can help to renew, to update uh, democracy. Um, but only if it gives rise uh, to new forms of political organizations. Um, as I told you, yeah, I, I've seen the, the French political system from, from within, uh, and I don't think uh, that the current political class is truly able to rethink the way it is uh, doing uh, politics. Um, and um, yes, uh, b because you know they have no interest in really giving up power. They have no interest in really changing the, 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 this way of doing politics. So I think that um, uh, apps uh, shouldn't uh, only be a tool uh, to, to, to the current political class, but mostly a tool to inject new blood, to inject new leaders, uh, and, and to, yeah, to create, uh, to give rise to new forms of political organization. So what matters is not new, uh, like new tools, new technologies to uh, old uh, institutions, but what matters is new rules and maybe new people. And yes, I think that, uh, that, uh, that uh, technologies can, can, can help on that. And so my belief uh, in I is that uh, we should you know, not fight, uh, not fight uh, uh, oldest uh, institution. Uh, as uh, uh, Socrates uh, said, uh, the, the secret of change is uh, to focus on building the new, not on uh, fighting the old. So we shouldn't fight uh, them. But just bypass, you know, just circumvent them, and uh, and just to you know to give up a, a wake up call, uh, and that's why I want to to try uh, to try to do. Okay, it sounds like uh, there's just Clément still believing that we can do something with the politicians today. <laughs> oh. You do too. Okay. Um, anybody else like wanting to uh, like yeah? Um, maybe you should take a mic. Um, can I can I have one of these? Hi, Daniel from Freewheelers. I wonder, you know, first of all, it might be good to define what democracy is because there's various different levels. One is a very representative where you elect someone to take all the responsibility mm -hmm. and make all the mistakes and then you can blame them and that's what we've been doing for years and years and years and it's very convenient because we don't have to take any responsibility ourselves. What I'd like to see is a democracy where actually uh, it's, there's no representation and we are all taking responsibility for the decisions that we make. Um, whether, whether this is through institutions or with institutions, uh, that's, another, there's, there's, that's another issue, which is about um, building uh, systems on sand, on, s on, on quicksand. So, um, for example, we can participate in yes, no, uh, um, on b should we build this road or not, but actually underneath, in the UK, the Queen still owns everything, you know. You know, <laughs> underneath it all, she can take it away if she wants to, l l you know, by legal right or something. I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong there. But, but, but you know, it basically, the lords and the ladies are still in control. Um, very little has changed. It's just a very surface thing on the top. So, so actually addressing that side of things is really important. And 
that can be, uh, I'm, not, I'm not even, I'm just making some points here for discussion that I think really need to go into what are the foundations of what we're trying to do here because it's, it, otherwise we're, we're, we're in danger of just being very surfacical and, and just doing some window dressing without really addressing what, what, are the, what are we actually trying to get to? That's the question. What are we actually trying to get to here? What, what is the kind of world that we really want to live in? Because if we're just doing window dressing, then we're in a very dangerous situation where nothing, nothing potentially is, is actually going to change. So actually, I would like to know, you know, what kind of world do you actually want to get to? And, and then how do you propose? And, and I, I think using institutions, using existing systems is, is important as well as creating new environments that, that don't use them. But, but yeah, it's, it's, what is the goal? If you say what your goal is, then we can actually decide whether it's a good system or not. We can, we can judge. But if we don't have a goal, we don't have a vision, then it's very difficult to judge if what you're proposing is any good or not. Cool. Thank you. Um, Anybody feel like uh, answering this? Uh? Yeah, um, actually, I, th I think it, it's uh, very important to make the difference, to distinguish uh, what I call the, the three pillars of uh, democracy and not to, to mix everything up. Uh, the first one, according to me, uh, and, and you, maybe you, you don't agree, uh, is, uh, is uh, representative democracy. And I think that we don't really, we are not really experiencing demo uh, representative democracy right now. Uh, so that's the first pillar, uh, to have uh, a representative that uh, truly represents a people and in which people trust. Um, that's the first one. Uh, and that's the, the one I, I work on. Uh, the, the second one uh, is uh, like uh, organizing, you know, monitoring, because once you have elected people, uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have to monitor them. Uh, that you don't have to organize checks and balances. I mean, it's just a key co distrust, uh, even distrust, uh, distrust when it's not too high, is a key component of democracy. So, and many apps, many, uh, many, the internet can really help on that. But the problem is that uh, for now, uh, uh, it, it's the only pillar that, uh, that is functioning. You know, that's uh, like a, a negative democracy and uh, you're just here to contest, to protest, to sign a petition, to... I mean, it's great, but it's only one pillar of the democracy. And the third one is exactly what you say. The third one is once you have been elected, once you have been monitored, the, just the, 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 the work of, of a politician is just the work of doing politics. And what is politics? It's building a common vision it's deba debating. Uh, not everybody uh, uh, is supposed to, to be uh, um, to agree with everybody. I mean, the core of democracy is debating. It's uh, it's deb dividing. It's confronting different ideas, and uh, and so I think that uh, on this uh, third pillar, uh, a lot of uh, apps uh, etc. could also uh, help to you know to organize that, but. We have to, to distinguish uh, all of them. And just to, to finish, um, I think that the, the, the danger with uh, participative and, and direct uh, democracy is that it is often hijacked, like, you know, monopolized by uh, vocal minorities. Uh, and uh, actually, with the internet, it uh, even uh, um, got worse. Uh, because, you know, under the cloak of uh, anonymity, you can just uh, say anything, and uh, it's so, so easy. So, yeah, that's why I insist. I think that representative democracy is important and that we should also work on that, on the three pillar, and that's the first one, actually. Um, we could take another round of questions. Uh, maybe you could just come over here and... Uh, just, yeah, make it to the scene. I'd be... Uh, I, I've, I've deliberately uh, left my chair open, so, yeah. We're almost there. Okay, I, I get to the, uh, the, the microphone. Go ahead. Um, thanks for the ideas. Um, Could you say a word about who you are? And okay, yeah. My name is Carolina, and I work for UN Habitat in Rio. Um, I was just wondering, I think that those tools are great because they, um, they make sure that uh, participation is throughout, is not just in, during elections, but also throughout the, the terms that the mayor is there. But um, my question is, how don't we, like, I, sometimes I feel that those tools just reinforce, um, just, those tools are just for people that are already participating. How can we, like, really make it more democratic for people that 
are not participating and how can, for example, immigrants or poorer classes, how can we open up? Because sometimes I just feel that it's just uh, people are already, they're already participating are gonna use that, but they're not opening up for other, so how do we balance that also? And how do we integrate other um, people that are not participating and don't have access or, or yeah, for somehow fall through the cracks? Can I answer that? Sure. Um, so th this is true, but we were discussing uh, <laughs> with uh, Clara yesterday because we both worked in the very local uh, level on uh, little groups of democracy, and this is true. It's always the same people coming, um, often socialist, often old, uh, often retired. Um, with the internet, yes, people were uh, well-educated, uh, white, um, involved in the society, or um, more willing to participate, but we're also um, reaching a new level, and um, uh, uh, like more, clearly, like more people are participating, uh, younger people are participating, uh, people who never went to a local meeting or participating. Uh, so I think there is a start of renewal of the population. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the city of Paris, we are very well aware of the challenges uh, you described. And we're trying to work on them by uh, building a bridge between online participation and local participation. Uh, working a lot with local places, um, La Recyclerie, Le Cri, um, all the places we got involved for the participatory budget to uh, try to reach people who don't go to the internet, who don't go to uh, the city places. The thing is, um, does anyone have the feeling that it's any easier uh, to speak, say, or to get involved uh, online or uh, just... Uh, away from keyboard, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe Simona, uh, I mean, uh, if you have like some experience from, again, um, like being there and just like, uh, ex just trying to do politics on the, on, the, uh, 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 on the field, you could say. Yeah, I think the fact of saying people should participate is very paternalistic. I think, uh, I mean, we are people. And uh, I also think that I have the, the only people I don't see, they don't have understand the internet, which I know is the intellectual from the left, because all the people, migrant, not migrant, are using Facebook, using Twitter, so, and they participate when something, when they feel that something is important for them, they participate, and if not, if it's just they want them to say yes, no, or something, I, they are not fool. We are not fool. People, we are not fool. So this fact that there is somebody above of us that try to make us participate, I think is a bit sick. Uh, and uh, so the the the, uh, the problem is n for me to participate less, not to participate more. For example, us to put in jail our corrupt politician, we have to work like idiot during three years when we should need to have an institution that already, when you say there is a corrupt guy there, oh, no problem, we put him in jail, zero participation. So uh, the problem is not, uh, this is again this opium. The effort should be to make people participate. People already are participating. So I want to answer two things that for me are important. We have an experience that we have built on all this peer idea of uh, a new party, which is not a party, it's just a lock. Uh, uh, a key to open to the civil participation, and we have several things. First, uh, there is a problem on uh, the disappearing of the institution. We have a problem of scales. To take decision of a civil society, we need to make scales. We cannot decide uh, in an um, assembly of four millions or 40 millions. So we need, and I think the structure that we have that every certain number of people, we have one which represent us, even if I am an anarchist, mm -hmm. logically looks okay. The problem is that we have to monitor this person. Mm -hmm. So the problem is not on the structure of the institution, which is quite okay, and it, it was experimented for okay. many centuries, so more or less it works, this parliament idea, mm -hmm. it's okay. 
but we need to monitor. We need to have this per person have to be a, uh, a servant. So the problem uh, is not on the structure of the institution, but on the channel to monitor the institution. And the other thing is, what is democracy? I'm sure that more or less everybody in the room have some experience of having a boyfriend or girlfriend or many of them. And you know that it's very difficult to agree between two. So democracy, if the idea, also leftish idea of the democracy by being all together agreeing, is just, for me, idiot. Because we, we cannot agree because we are all different. So the democracy is the exercise to be together, disagreeing completely, all being so different. So the idea is exactly not to uh, try to make an, an effort on yes, I like or not like if you are one way or another, because we are all different. So the idea is to get together on minimal idea. And this internet can be very useful if we wait uh, the participation. And if, if, if not, it becomes a polarization, and this is not democracy. OK, that's interesting. Uh, another round of questions? Yeah, uh, I've seen you. so. Uh, Hi, thank you all for the uh, great discussion. Um, the title is, Is There an App to Save Democracy? I, I think, know who you are. sorry, oh hi, I'm Moral Balkan from you. Indy, a small social enterprise. We're building technologies that protect human rights and hopefully further democracy. Um, the title is, Is There an App to Save Democracy? What we haven't really discussed is what we're saving it from. And I, one of the great threats that I see is corporate influence and corporate takeover. Um, and I haven't heard any discussion about that whatsoever. So I'd like to know, um, you know what we can do to save democracy from corporations. OK, anybody uh, having ideas on this? Simna, I'm sure you do, but uh, of course. Um, OK, I'll try. <laughs> sure. Um, actually, uh, this is a very important issue. Uh, but uh, where do you come from? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, because it, it, it is a ve major issue uh, in the in the US. It is also in France and is Europe, but just uh, uh, yeah, a bit less. But uh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, I think that that's why we go back uh, to people, uh, because when you um, and, and that's why I think it's so important to work on representativity, because when you think of it. Uh, uh, politics uh, and uh, it, it has uh, uh, become the, the monopoly of a, a political class and the w even the word class is very interesting you know there is a class the political class and then the civil society like what well, uh, I mean it's it's the same um, and actually I don't know how it is in uh, in in the UK but I, I'm sure it's uh, about the same um, in France uh, this class this class this political class they all uh, did the same degree, they all studied together, they all know each other, and actually uh, uh, this is uh, the same guy uh, in, uh, in the uh, minister's office uh, who is uh, a close friend of, uh, of uh, a guy who is, uh, uh, who, who is running like a big company uh, at uh, CAC 40, etc. So they, they all, they just, you know, uh, they are all together to just maintain the, the same old, the same old world, uh, and so that's the, this this uh, yes this class uh, which is not only political but also business class. I mean they are all together, and so this uh, influence uh, the influence of uh, our corporation is very high because uh, I, I think because because of that. So if you work on uh, representativity, building a new representativity, and that, that's why my project is to crowdsource uh, representatives at, uh, at election, you know, to open, to, to, to widen the, the pool of potential uh, representatives uh, at a political level, but you, you could even think to do the same at a business level, actually. So. Thank you, thank you, Clara, for uh, having done We'll take a last question, I guess, and, and uh, I'm sure, like, keep on, keep the debate live and, and uh, keep on, like, discussing after the next session starts, please. Uh, I am Mary, I have a project, We Share Europe. I am trying to connect the citizen, the makers, uh, with videos, subtitles, because I think language is a huge issue for democracy. Uh, anyway, so my question uh, uh, regards actually internet, because 
uh, we are all talking about apps and internet and everything. And uh, here, mostly, uh, everybody is connected. But this is not the case in the world. And I remember the last presentation where uh, there were a map. And she was saying, you can see that we are all connected. But you, you, you actually, it was Europe, a little bit of South America, and, and uh, the US. And so, I mean, I, I don't know if you can actually answer this question. But my simple question is, uh, can, we, can we put democracy into internet only? And, and internet, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, do you think about that when you are doing all your apps and everything? Do you, do you take that into consideration? Because even in France, I am living in the countryside, in Ardèche, actually. Really, I swear to you guys, there are a lot of people there who are, they, they don't have internet, and even young people, because it's hard. I mean, you, you, can, you cannot download anything because it takes a lot of time and all these things. And so, of course, in Paris, it's easy to forget. But apps is for people who already have the tools. So could you say something about that, please? Yes, perhaps sure. one word. Uh, we, I think that's why we are speaking also about uh, the culture of uh, in collective intelligence and, uh, and taking decisions together on uh, uh, the culture of collaboration because it's not only online but it's also offline. And I'm a designer, and I uh, also to answer to other questions, I'm I'm sure that. Uh, Part of the solution is uh, to to design and to to redesign the the system uh, to be able to address a uh, lot of uh, different uh, people uh, and a lot of situations that the the guys uh, that is uh, completely disconnected, but also the guy the guys with is, uh, with, uh, with connected, and to to think. I think it's perhaps a new role of uh, institutions and representatives is, is to design the, uh, uh, a system uh, that combines uh, tools that can be online or offline, but uh, that makes the system able to uh, uh, to be adapted to uh, uh, a lot of citizens and a lot of different kind of citizens. Um, I guess this one's going to be the last. Uh, Thank you to our speakers. Uh, thank you to all for uh, nurturing the debate.